Today we are getting into episode 8 of Don't Say No. We're going to find out um, whether or not this person is Fiat's mom. I feel like it's going to bring up a lot of emotions. It's going to bring up a lot of things that may cause issues in the family, specifically between Fiat and his mom and his dad and also Fiat's dad's new wife. So definitely going to be some family drama in this episode. Also, I think that it's going to cause a little bit of a rift between Fiat and Leo just because, just, just because, because I feel like I don't know what Leo has to do with it. I feel like maybe he bought his mom to him. That's what it seemed like in the teaser, but we'll find out. We'll find out. There's a lot of speculation. These body reactions and accompanied with these nightmares, it's just adding on to the belief that she did something wrong. She did something wrong. I, it's just, it keeps adding up. He would not be jerking back if, if he wasn't afraid of something. His body, the muscle memory and the memory in his body, something, she did something. Ah, she did something. I don't listen to the rest of what you gotta say, but, Okay, I know. Was it an affair? Was it was it a side piece that graduated? What was it? Because I feel like either way, there's no excuse to completely step outside of your children's life. No matter what the issue between you and your spouse is, unless your spouse is keeping you away from your child. Which obviously, like, considering you just, like, walked right back into Fiat's life, I don't think, I I can't say that I believe that he did much to keep you out of his life. But, hmm, interesting. Bah! This was the wrong way to approach everything. Oh my god. You immediately blamed him. And then Fiat was like, whether or not I want to see her or not, no. Don't blame him. And Fiat, you should have been like, no, she came to see me. Ah, like, okay, anyway. Now that I'm thinking about it, if Fiat would have said she came to see me, well, no, 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 no. Because if, if the dad is holding the mom somewhere or like housing her somewhere, whether or not Fiat, okay, whether or not Fiat went to see her or she came to see him, if the dad wanted to move the mom away from Fiat so that he couldn't find her, he would have did it again. It didn't matter. Okay, so in that aspect, it doesn't matter whether or not Fiat went to see her or not, but I feel like it would have gotten, the conversation might've gotten further if Fiat would have said, no, she came to see me. It might've created issues, but more issues between the dad and the mom, but you might've gotten more information and the dad wouldn't have like, just gone off like he shouldn't have went off in the first place but you know i'm just trying to figure out ways to get more information for myself honestly beat her ass this child need an ass whooping i understand you're protecting your mom but you need an ass whooping because you in grown folks business you are in grown folks business i'm sorry girl y'all i don't like this little girl i don't like kids like talking about it so i definitely don't like this little girl <laughs> She be doing the most. It is not, it does not become your fault when people do not communicate how they feel about the way something happened. Granted, Fiat, like, I, I don't, uh, Grant, we don't know exactly what happened that night. We know, like, that Fiat allegedly pushed her and almost made her have a miscarriage. He should have apologized. He should have apologized. But at the same time, y'all should have communicated in this moment, in this time. I would like to apologize to Fa because her disliking for Fiat is kind of justified. If I were a kid and I found out that I almost was not born and almost died because you pushed my mama down the steps because you were angry. I would have been mad too. And I would have been looking at you sideways from day one, day zero. When I came out the womb, I would have been looking at you sideways. 
Grant, I probably did not have any control over my motor functions. So me looking at you sideways was probably not purposeful, but it was destiny. So, you know, I apologize, Fa. I apologize. You still need to come correct sometimes. Like sometimes it don't even, you just be saying shit just to say stuff. But, you know, I understand you, girl. I understand you now. I've been talking to a child like, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I know she didn't roll up in the house like she owned the place. Ma'am, I'm going to need for you to back up. I'm going to need for you to back up. Them birds have more right to be there than you do. I'm just kidding. I don't know. So, I just don't like the way she rolled up in there. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Okay, so Miss Miss Ma'am, Miss Thing, I feel like you and Fiat's dad had a little falling out, and so he said he doesn't love you anymore. And so you took those feelings, projected them onto Fiat, and made it seem like his dad didn't love him and that you were the only one that ever loved him which caused a whole bunch of other problems after thoughts let's start with the way that the mom was peeped from the beginning i knew when she rolled up in at leo and fiat's house there was something off because the way she was saying your dad forbid you to see me and this and that and this and that and that and that and the third i was like you had to have done something i don't know but then like i kind of like stepped back on my initial accusation because of how fiat's dad and fa or auntie faye were like not telling fiat anything about his mom and i was like what why are y'all telling anybody but now I know the reason they weren't saying anything about it is because it is a mental trigger for him. Like, she literally brainwashed this child into hating everyone and trying to get him to only love her. And that's the reason why Fiat's dad kicked that bitch out. Because you were literally abusing this child mentally and physically. You are abusing this child. So I understand dad now. I understand why he had to do what he do, did and why he had to stand his ground when he was like, I, I'm not telling you anything about your mom because if I do, there's going to be some issues that arise. Granted, I will say this. I understand why he said that doesn't necessarily mean that he should not have said something earlier because maybe this whole situation here could have been fixed but i get it i get it now i get it onward to how fiat treated auntie faye i don't agree with fiat pushing her a grant okay yes he was young and stuff like that young and stupid and full of emotions and he acted on those emotions, pushed her, and it almost caused a miscarriage of Fa. So there was this animosity that was held between the dad, the stepmom, the daughter, and Fiat. And what might have helped it a little bit might have been like a little bit more communication about why, you know, what was happening. Because there was like the the issue was just a huge misunderstanding. Fiat ran away because of he thought he was being kicked out and stuff like that. And nobody got in touch with Fiat to let him know what was going on. And so it was just a huge misunderstanding um, and a huge miscommunication. The previews. Okay, so I feel like this is one of those things where Fiat's going to have like withdrawals with his mom. And it might be one of two things. From what it looks like, it looks like that he completely is just forgiving her for whatever she did and just choosing to move on it's in the past blah 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 this and then that but the thing is basically her action it's almost like her actions 
are going without consequence and it negates everything that that dad did to protect you from her because now it's like did y'all even talk it out like i don't know if they're gonna talk it out in like the next episode or anything but like did y'all even resolve this childhood trauma that was caused by your mom because if you didn't and you just like let it move on and let it you know go just that doesn't necessarily solve the issues and there still might be some underlying issues and then looking at the way he treated he treats leo in that little clip it's looking like the brainwash is coming full circle and now he's gonna start hating leo because leo is telling you how it is and telling you she was toxic y'all need to figure this out but you forgiving her I get it, you want to move past, but do you see this issue manifesting from the seed that she sowed when you were younger? You know, so we'll find that out in episode nine, I guess. And then moving on to our fave couple, Leon and Pope. I am so glad that it is official that they're dating now. I feel like Pope to passed away. Or either she's in very critical condition because Pope is going through it in those in, in those previews. I feel like when Pope has an attachment to somebody, he holds on for dear life. And if that person leaves him, especially if that person leaves him the same way, or that 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 thing he's attached to leaves him the same way, it's a huge trigger for him so i feel like that's why he's breaking down is because i think pope to like passed away so emo emo hours in the next episode as well <laughs> so yeah but that's really all of the like recollection that i have like the reflection that i have on this episode and my expectations for the next episode i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction if you did hit that thumbs up button also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as that bell notification so you know each and every time I upload. Remember, if you want to see um, the full version of this reaction with no cuts, um, you guys usually like YouTube. You guys usually see, you know, the um, the cut version. You don't see like the in between little reactions and stuff like that because I do have to cut it down to a certain, you know, point. Um, you can. Subscribe to my Patreon. Um, you get all of the uncut YouTube reactions as well as the early access on the $3 tier. So I will see you guys in the next reaction. Bye. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Bye.